Hi, I'm Miss V. This is Singer Tracks, and I'm going to show you how to make a PDF or a digital copy of your physical sheet music. So you have a piece of music in your hand. You need it on your computer to share with someone via email or maybe to make a Singer Track order. If you have a scanner, maybe something that looks kind of like this that plugs into your computer, I can't really help you learn how to use it. Not in this video anyway. Hopefully you already know, which would mean you don't really need to watch the rest of this video. If you have access to a copy machine, like maybe one of the big industrial ones, or even some of the, the newer personal ones, some of them are equipped with a function that will scan a PDF just as fast as it will make a copy, in case nobody ever shared that incredibly useful piece of information with you. If you don't have access to a scanner or a copy machine, or you're not sure how to make scans with them, and you do have access to a smartphone, then I can help you. First, you're going to make sure that you have downloaded a PDF scanner app onto your phone. Now, there are plenty of absolutely free options for this. You don't have to pay a dime. I like to use one called Simple Scanner, but there are loads of very good options out there. And all you have to do is go to your app store and look for one that has a lot of downloads and a good rating. Second, you're going to make sure that you have good bright lighting for your scan. Now, if your only option is overhead light, like this one, try not to stand directly beneath the light because sometimes that will create the shadow of your phone on the page that you're trying to scan and it'll make the scan really, really difficult to read. So all you gotta do is shift over just a little bit so that the light falls at an angle on the page and your page doesn't have the shadow of the phone on it while you're trying to scan it. If you can lay your music flat by a window, that may be some of the best lighting you can find. Sunlight is just the best at everything. And it's gonna be really helpful to lay the music on something that's gonna contrast sharply with the bright white page. Now, whether it's just a couple of sheets of dark construction paper, a dark wood desk or floor, or a black music stand, that's gonna help the app see the edges of the page a little bit easier. Next, you want to make sure that your music is going to lie as flat as possible. Now, if it's some unbound computer paper or an anthem print like this, that's going to be really easy. You just lay it down. But if it's a bound book like this, spiral bound is probably going to behave a little bit better. Um, but this kind of binding is going to make my page curve as it lies flat and that's going to make for a messy scan and messy scans make for slow transcribing so what i may want to do is for whatever page that i'm scanning if this is the page that i'm scanning i'm going to hold the other side up so that it lies a little bit flatter and that's going to make my scan that much neater then you're just going to use your scanner app to scan each page of music you may need to square up the edges of the scan or adjust the contrast or rename the file so you remember what song it is and then you take a photo of the next page and you do the same process on repeat until you've scanned every page hey don't cut off the piano part or the page numbers the page numbers are going to help both you and me make sure that we didn't accidentally skip a page in our scanning. Then when you're finished scanning, hit that share button. Now remember, for a singer track order, you don't need to have the title page, the composer page, or really any pages that don't have music and don't have anything to do with the performance of the music in the file. Personally, the way I like to share the file is by emailing it to myself. Now, I know some people might think that's kind of clunky or old school, but I like the fact that I will have an email record of it and I can access the file on any device that I can log into my email on. So it's very, very accessible wherever I am. And that's it. Now you have a PDF or a digital version of your hard copy of sheet music. Now, don't ever let anybody charge you for a PDF of music that you already own. That's a racket. 
and you know who I'm talking about. Now, if you're going on to make a Singer Tracks order, you can either download the file from your email onto your desktop or laptop computer, or you can upload it straight from your phone to the Singer Tracks order webpage. And okay, I'm just gonna add this one quick little thing. I know the last thing you need right now is another music filing project, <laughs> but I wanna put a bug in your ear about digitizing your music library. It takes a lot of effort and you're probably gonna have to pay for some sort of file storage, whether it's cloud storage online or whether it's like an external hard drive, you're probably gonna have to pay a little bit for it. But man, is it an asset for a music library of really any size at all. And hey, if you have students who are like needing to earn some community service hours for a key club or student council, this would be a great project for them. I'm just saying. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have recommendations for future music how-to videos or singer education videos, I hope you'll send them my way. Until next time, keep singing.